Welcome to Metal Gods TV with Mick the Beard. Hi, I'm Mick the Beard from Metal Gods TV and I'm at Bloodstock with Primitar. How you doing, man? Sound? Sound? Uh, I've just been talking to you guys, you say you're going to play, you just played earlier on, we played another set on Jaeger, yeah? Yeah, that's right, yeah, we, we played the uh, new Blood stage earlier on, um, which went really well actually, so yeah. we're really happy with really that. Really good crowd. Yeah, and um, yeah, we're playing the uh, the Jaeger stage, but a little bit different for us, um, it's, uh, it's actually, um, they've asked us to do an acoustic set on that one, so something we don't normally do we've only actually done we've one. done one before <laughs> and yes. it was an interesting experience so <laughs> they didn't imagine have this a PA at that one so yeah well, i've always thought it was weird asking metal bands to do acoustic because everybody goes to metal because they want they want it plugged in it wants loud noise that's it's right, just yeah. to pass the time isn't it between <laughs> bands you know yeah. basically when people are getting a drink it's nice to have something just twittering around in the background mm -hmm. so you can stand there and heckle or I think stand there and clap your so, hands yeah, yeah and, we're not quite as um, you know aggressive of, aggressive as some of the uh, other metal bands. So uh, with sort of more the lighter side, perhaps. So you know our set it does translate fairly well onto acoustics or quite nicely. A few little changes in there, but no, it's all right. So you still manage to do the stuff that you normally would do, then? Yeah. Yeah, we do all of it, and we're doing a, slinging a couple of tracks from the old album on there that work quite well as acoustics. So yeah, because well, we've always done a couple of different versions of each song anyway, just to keep it interesting. Okay. And while you're talking albums, you might as well plug what's going off now. The Line of Fire, it's our latest album. iTunes, www.primatai.com. You know, sign up for it and I'll slam it in the post. <laughs> <laughs> what, a cheap discount? Man, it's, it's, it's bloody cheap on the website. You can get, well, two CDs for a tenner, our new album and our old album. Yeah, and they that deal was... Absolutely fantastic idea. So that's how we generally do most of our sales is on that. Getting both albums. So the yeah, if you sling in a t shirt, it's what? I think twenty quid for a t shirt and two albums, so you Can't get that, that you get the whole package. <laughs> Anybody who's looking at wants the sales when you are so what can you? What do you guys do on the road to pass the time? I mean, I know it can be a bit boring at times. I mean, I know you've got all this sort of shit to do, but in between that, <laughs> I'm not sure we should divulge. Uh... Well, there's the stuff you'd expect, and then when we get really bored, <laughs> I think we were at the studio last time, and there was a can on the floor, and we spent a good hour and a half standing about ten metres away from it, trying to chuck pebbles into it. So it's just. Because you imagine you have all day and you've got fuck all to do. The mind boggles with boredom, so you just get uh, it degenerates into the most useless activity you can possibly do. Generally, um, that is good fun. Always good fun on the road. And hey, what's the stupidest thing that's ever happened to you? I've been on the road. Um, oh, I did well, broke JB's finger. Yeah, at the I was last thinking one. the same one. Yeah, these two got into a uh, well, Nick and uh, Jamie, our bass player. Got into a bit of a scuffle at about three in the morning in Glasgow. In, it was about minus degrees. And yeah. Ended up Jamie breaking his finger, and then for the rest of the tour, he just sort of bandaged it up himself. Splinted it with two of Chris's broken drumsticks <laughs> just to try and. <laughs> Luckily, it was no, it was them two, wasn't it? That he had to splint together so we could still play, but just had these drumsticks cut off there where he's <laughs> trying to hold his fingers in the right I think place. Also on that that tour in. A night in uh, Sheffield, we ended up in some student club where there were, it was like school uniform night, and uh, oh, God, yeah. and you and Jamie again somehow got involved in a huge brawl, and uh, but involving about half the club as well. So mm. and then somehow after the fight ended, they, no one got thrown out. Um, but I guess that's Sheffield. They just get you know? just... half into the smoking area and left half on the dance floor. Because <laughs> right? some guy was getting a kick in, so me and Jamie literally thought, ah. Oh, He's getting pasted, so let's see if we can stop this. And yeah, as soon as we jumped well, in, brothers. lots of other people obviously thought we were trying to help the guy on the floor, and it just got silly. So uh, yeah, that was a good laugh. Sounds like a normal night out in Sheffield, really. Yeah, it was good fun. Uh, <laughs> and what can guys expect from your shows when they go and see you? Always high energy. That's sort of the main focus of our sta uh, stage presence is, yeah, get as much energy in the crowd as you can, as much crowd interaction, and just, yeah, try and keep it fun. A few, um, few sort of stage moves, perhaps, oh, yeah. thrown in there. There's a little stage out of acrobatics, <laughs> you know, when we're really up for it. Yeah. 
usually by the end I'm ready to collapse as well. So we, <laughs> we really do go all out on so our Especially on that shows. new blood stage, like you could feel the lights tracking you. It was <laughs> so hot up there. So yeah, everyone's literally, you can feel it coming off your little finger as you're playing guitar, just <laughs> dripping. Uh, just where can people see you next after you've done Bloodstock? Uh, we're at the Underworld in December with Blaze Bailey. And a couple of other gigs dotted before then. Winchester in... Uh, Winchester's in a, gone, isn't it? There's another one in October the 1st. Oh, yeah. In Winchester. Um, Hard Rock Hell. Oh, as yeah. well in December. See you there. Yeah. Waiting underneath Ace Freely. So, yeah, it'll be good. Underneath it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might need to rephrase that one. <laughs> Take that as you will. You know? And finally, have you got a message for the guys who are watching you out there? Oh, keep loving heavy metal. Come down and see Perimeter. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks very much. Cheers, mate. Thanks.